Middleton School District officials are calling for parents to stop holding a weekly event near the school known as Jesus Lunches. But the mothers who organize the event say they have a right to be there. News 3's Jessica Arp is live in Middleton tonight to explain this controversy. Jess? But yeah, this weekly lunch happens in Fireman's Park here in Middleton. You can see that it's right next to Middleton High School, and that's the problem. The school says that parent organizers aren't following school rules in having it here. Parents say they have a right to be there. Plenty of Middleton High School students head off campus for lunch. On Tuesdays, for some, it's to the park next door. And uh, what it's all about is um, some mothers, they bring a lot of food um, to the park by the school, and then... Um, People eat it and then they also have um, Bible stuff there as well. What's now known as Jesus Lunch started as parents eating with their kids in the park and grew, organizers say, to a group of mothers feeding some 400 students and sharing biblical truth. The problem, the school district says, is that Fireman's Park is leased by the school, making it subject to school rules that they say the parents aren't following. At some level, we, we want to be very direct that this is, um, this is not approved by the school district and I think right now they're saying we don't care and we believe we have the right to come in because it's a park even though you've leased it. That's the argument of parent Melissa Helbach who in a statement said her group has rented out the park through the city and that the school district's lease quote does not privatize the park. The district disagrees and argues that the weekly event is causing tension. There are some students that when they know this day is coming, they will leave school early. We have some students that, you know, folks on our staff will find sitting in a hallway crying. Students tell us there is disagreement. A lot of students feel that it's not okay to have um, religious affiliation on school grounds. And then other students also think that, you know, um, not everyone has to participate in it. They're not being forced to do it, so then it's not an issue. So there's a kind of a clash there. So we did talk just moments ago to Middleton City Administrator Mike Davis, who pointed us toward the lease agreement that the city has had with the school district for about 16 years. He said in his words that the school district doesn't necessarily have an exclusive right to this premises under the lease agreement, but and they do have a right to enforce school district rules as long as it doesn't conflict with the interests of the general public. The group has said they plan to go ahead and host this lunch once again next Tuesday. We will see how things shake out then. Jessica Arp reporting live from Middleton tonight. Jess, thanks.